So what's going on, what's going on, what's going on guys? It's your boy Tay and today it is another $7 day here at CD's Palettes. We came for the grand opening that was like three weeks ago and now we are back here. Before I get ran over by a truck, let me move. But yeah, we're back here at CD's Palettes and it's about an hour before they open. I thought I would be a little bit closer in line, but I guess I'm not. Everybody beat me here. There's no telling what time they got here. So we may have to go back to the old school, coming early, 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 like I used to in South Carolina. But everybody know there was something in the pit. Well, maybe you don't know. There's something in the pictures. There was like a WWE belt that I really, really want. But the odds of me getting it now, because I'm so far in back of line, are slim to none. But you know, your boy's still going to try. But did I even introduce myself? My name is Dante. So if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. I like going to different stores and try to find profits. And yeah, that's pretty much it on this channel. But I do have another channel that you can go follow right here. I'll leave that link in the description box for you below as well can't talk right now don't know why maybe because i'm mad because i can't be first or second or third in line i'm literally like 10 but it's okay it's okay you live you learn and this is a lesson next time i'll be here five hours early <laughs> anyways guys so i'm gonna sit here probably edit a video or two and then wait for the store to open you know the deal by now when it opens let's get the camera back on and we'll go explore what they have in the store Okay guys, they open in around five minutes and then I met another like-minded individual. We met another wrestling fan and then as we were talking, he was telling me about, he does like Facebook live shows and he actually had an interview with my man Rhino. So I'm gonna let him plug himself right now. <laughs> Oh, my name's Tommy Gunn, just over here hanging out with my new buddy from North Carolina here talking about some wrestling and everything. He said, I'm here for a title belt. I said, you know what, we might have to go have a match for it in there. You never know, there's a lot of tables. Devon, get the tables. So where can they find you on Facebook? Find me on Facebook as Tommy Gunn. You'll see the picture of the dude leaning over a car like this, like a supermodel out there. Or look for the guy with the orange vest and the mullet. You'll find me. I'm Tommy Gunn and I approve this message. <laughs> so make sure you go follow Tommy Gunn on Facebook. Yes, a YouTuber promoting Facebook because that's what we do. We always want to promote everybody because that's what we do. Anyways, they open up in about five minutes, guys. Let's see if I can go find this wrestling belt. It's not looking that good because those people up there look like they want it in the front. But we'll see. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button for your boy. See you in a minute. Are you happy? See if I can get the belt. So initially walking in, you know my mission. I'm looking for the wrestling belt. I'm not even really focused on no other profits right now. I'm really trying to find that belt. And the fact that I see somebody with a buggy, that's new to me. But I'm really focusing on this WWE belt. If you see it, let me know. See this paper shredder? I've always wanted one, so I grabbed it. I usually go to Goodwill trying to find paper shredders. So I just went ahead and grabbed this one for $7. And when coming around the corner, I saw the cost headphones. Those are like prison headphones. Everybody in prison used to get those. Sometimes if you can afford them, they were fairly expensive behind the walls. So I see the CB radio, so I immediately picked that up. I'm almost giving up on trying to find this belt by now because I thought it was in the first bin when I initially walked in. I didn't go that way because there were so many people in front of me and just by happenstance, it may have been somewhere else in the bins. I wanted to walk around and see if I could find it somewhere else. So I found some okay items. It's been about five minutes or so in the bins. So let me go ahead and set some of these items against the wall and then go back in the bins to see if I can find something else. The Star Wars I saw in the picture, so I knew it was worth around 24 bucks or so. And then I also saw some headphones buried and when I pulled them out, Headphones really aren't worth that much. I mean, for me, sometimes get them, sometimes not. It just all depends on the brand. So we've seen the Speedify Wi-Fi router before in some previous bin videos when I used to go in South Carolina. I've actually sold one for like around $28 or so. I just know that for the price and my profit margins to be where I want it to be and shipping and everything, I couldn't really purchase this on a $7 day, so I left it in the bins. 
And because of my little routine, see, normally you see how I hesitate with this item right here I grab. Sometimes I'm like, uh, it may not be worth money, but I don't know every single product. So I'll grab it and then maybe later on I'll check the comps on it when I go through all of my items and check comps. When I'm in the bands, I already have the mind frame that there will be items that I'm going to miss and there will be items that I grab that other people will think that I shouldn't have purchased. Sometimes I will grab items depending on the sell through rate. If I see an item and my profit margin may only be $7, if it's selling like crazy, I will go ahead and grab that item. Whereas I may see another item, same profit margin, but if it's not selling as often, I may leave it in the bins. So it just all depends on what day I come and how I'm looking to spend my money, to be honest. I see this Five Nights of Freddy t-shirt and I immediately think of Izzy. See no sign of the belt. I know, right? Like I'm not even seeing the middle. I'm about to say I don't see anybody in with the bag with the belt. I'm about to go super fan though. <laughs> oh, that's what's up. You got it. <laughs> Where's the belt? Who got the belt? We need the belt. We need the belt. I need to tie up the title. The specs. Yeah, we ran out of space, so this is going to be bag number two. That means we're finding some good items. That's the name of the game, come in here and try to find profits. It's like a big treasure hunt. That's how I really look at it. Just like a big treasure hunt and it never gets old because you always find new treasures every time you come. And don't be afraid to dig deep when you come to the bins. A lot of the good things are buried underneath like this watch. I would have never found this watch and it's like a $80, $90 watch. So yeah, make sure you actually dig because the treasures are really in the bins. What should the table with the gaming? So there's one right there. Oh, there's some in here. What's some of the headphones? Yeah. Yeah, there's like two or three in this row. And then there's like a whole bunch over there. Yeah. There's like a thousand of them over there too. A lot of people like talking about bolos and be on the lookouts. I had no idea what this item was at all. So I decided just to stop, look it up because the brand never stood out to me. I've never seen this brand name before. So when I pulled out my phone and I Google it and actually look up the item, I see that the item is worth a lot of money. So my advice in this video would be simply when you run across items, no matter where you are, if you don't know what the item is, take your time to actually look that item up. You never know what kind of gem you may run across. So always be on the lookout for every item that's out there. Anything can be profitable, even the items that you least suspect. So yeah, and if I didn't, if I would have never looked this item up, to me, it looks useless. It looks used, but yet it's worth over $100. So yeah, make sure we're looking up items. Yeah, so by this time I was really getting exhausted and ready to go. So I'm really happy that I ran across this Google Home. And every time we make this tip, make sure that you are checking sold comps when you're checking items on eBay to see how much they're worth. <laughs> oh, I've I seen one of them. I think I found one of them. You on it? No. Hey, thank you. you. Find what you needed? Yeah. Find anything good? I think so. I don't know. I think so. I was, you know how when you come in focused on one thing and then like you lose track of everything. So that's what it was. Huh? 
Oh, how cute. Lucky Ellen does. You know what I thought about doing on the, the fill bag is buying these and taking them up, taking them apart, mm -hmm. and literally just getting a uh, like a pole saw and only deep setting it a little bit, and then get some epoxy and put it on there, and you can make your whole custom walnut top. And where and you put your electronic at, it will charge. Oh, as a project, you know, like when they fill it, you know, fill a bag day, just grab those. So I don't even think in no mess like that. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, that's a good, that's yeah. actually a good idea. It is, seriously. Because you can really make your whole coffee table. Get out of, you know, like an oak And then literally just put whatever you put on it in the shower. Everything. That's a good idea. That's a good idea, idea though. With the technology that we have, you know, like at our fingertips. Oh, I need this wall stuff finder, but I don't want to pay $7 for it. It's a little mini bike. Mini bike is that the belt? Huh? I think they got it up front. About to put it in the bag. Really? Oh no, that's not the belt. I was gonna say, that, that was very sneaky because they are, I know, we know that they heard us. <laughs> Anybody want that? Iron? Yeah. Yeah, keep them back there. You guys come across like a manscape trimmer? Somebody found it. Really? Yeah. I heard somebody say something about it too. Yeah, I came in here looking for one for like 170 bucks. Dude. Yeah, they are. I'm kind of hoping to find it. They really want to pay $170 for one brand new. Decent. Are you like live streaming this or you uh... Oh no, no, just pre record. Oh. Yeah, pre record. I see people do that like uh, thrift stores all the time. Mm hmm. They go through and do that. Yeah. It's cool though. It's cool though. It shows people like there's a different way out there to make money besides exactly. a nine to five. That's what I try to do for at least. My buddy, he, uh, he does eBay selling. Mm -hmm. and he goes through and he flips stuff from thrift stores and sells it for a lot of money. Yeah. He's been doing it for maybe 10 years. He's been a lot of money for him. Yeah. It's definitely potential, especially when stores like this open up. Exactly. <laughs> Can you go through these ones yet? Because I feel like this is the only place that the belt can be at this point. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Oh, that belt is gone. I mean, that... I don't even know if it was here at all. I'm about to ask that. I want to ask that first. I think that that first family had to have it. Yeah, somebody had to have If it was in here. I'm going to ask them. I'm like, who, who got the belt? Right. Who got the title? Who got the title? Because uh, that was in the pictures. Yeah. Nobody. And we need to know. That, seven bucks? Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, actually, no. That's, uh, three different bins. Appreciate you. So guys, you know I'm a Ben aficionado and I was really looking for this Dragon Ball Z item. And my man, what's your name? Easton. Easton. Oh, I have my little nephew's name. Look at that face. Easton. Easton in the house. So shout out Easton. You see him. We have another Easton. But anyway. Uh, my YouTube channel is Easton May. And your YouTube channel is? Easton May. Easton May. And what kind of videos do you make? Uh, anything really. Anything really? All right, so do me a favor, guys. I need y'all to go subscribe to Easton May right now. And as always, you'll see his face right here. And yeah, so I really appreciate you finding the item for me. And yeah, appreciate that. You're welcome. So this is the fun part where I go over all of these items to see exactly what I want and then what I don't want. So let's go ahead and figure that out. When I was going through my items, I looked up and you see Easton, he was watching my videos as I was going through all of my items. Oh, I am going through the items just to check the comps to make sure they're within my profit margins and exactly what I want. And if I don't want the items, I'll put them back. I did. I went to Vegas, Kentucky. It's okay. It's all right. Vegas was better. Vegas. My dad's bringing me to Vegas. Oh, is he? You'll have fun. You will definitely have fun. Do you live stream? Mm-hmm. When do you live stream every day? Uh, some Sundays. Usually like Sundays and Thursdays. Tomorrow? Today's Friday. No, today is Saturday. You're right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So tomorrow. <laughs> wow, my days are off. What? You can find an iPhone. That's true. Someone found two Apple Watches. In here? Last Friday. Wow. Yeah, I need to get here earlier then. He just found the same thing you just did, a little bit different. Phone. 
Oh. <laughs> uh oh. And shout out to Tommy for being so humble when one of his fans came up to him. He was so happy to meet him. Cool, man. Nice to meet you. I'm there. It was very humbling to see him interact with some of the people who really love his content. Right before I checked out, I wanted them to open some of these boxes for me just to make sure that the items in them were okay to be sold. And one of the items forgot to be returned with the box. People, people don't understand it's not as easy as it looks, you know? Mm -hmm. it's, there's always some, you know, obstacles here and there. So I'm trying to like get this place packed. Yeah, and what I'm saying is like, I can definitely come in and talk to you and like to offer you some suggestions or whatever. I mean, there's a few things I see already. Y'all yeah. have an Instagram? Cause yeah. I want to be, I want to be able to tag y'all and stuff on Instagram. Like, yeah, I gotta create one actually. Do that. Like that's, that's number one. Instagram's number one. Everybody, the men's store is good. Like your products are probably some of the best products the bins offer. Okay. So that's, that's good. I would yeah, get that Instagram up so I can tag y'all. Okay. okay guys, uh, I'm tired. I've been in that bin store for a while. Longer than I normally ever really spend in any bin store. Probably because I was doing a lot of talking, a lot of networking and marketing. So yeah, we got 28 items. I think they counted 28 items. I spent 200 and two hundred dollars and like 68 cents or something like that the goal was to get 28 items or less and i got 28 or 27 so yeah that's what i got 27 because the goal was to get 28 and i got 27 so i spent 200 and something dollars do not like spending that kind of money but again trying to get the store up and popping and up and running we're going to go home review most of the items that we grabbed and then we're going to call it a day probably only going to review like around the top 10 or 15 items that i grabbed probably gonna review all of them you know how i do anyways i'll see you when we get to the house <laughs> okay guys we're at the house let's go ahead and go over all the items that we grabbed today we grab this proud air compressor we saw comps anywhere between like 45 and 50 bucks i believe we saw this five nights at freddy's shirt i got for izzy Shh. then we have this master fan mf 120 halo that you're seeing the back of this right here there's three in one so i think three of them is going for like 55 bucks or something like that i think they're going for what 20 a piece maybe or 14 a piece something like that then inside here i looked at this item for about 10 or 15 minutes this is a fletching jig yeah fletching jig for a bow and arrow saw comps for like around 40 bucks on this item this brand in particular took me about a good five minutes to look this item up. So I think that's why I grabbed it too. Cause I was like, you know, if I spent that much time looking at this item, I might as well pay for it. And keep in mind, I paid $7 for each and every single one of these items that you're seeing right now. And in here we have a watch. I will have the picture of it next to me, but this is a watch. I saw comps going for like $96. This is a 5.1 surround sound. This is for your audio systems. As you can see, not gonna take it out. We saw comps for like around over over 50 bucks, I wanna say kind of confidently, but on the low end, maybe $40. And this is the Timex watch, going for like $30 on eBay. Bunch of used ones have been selling for like $9.99, but this isn't used, so. Then we have these Porter Pro headphones, and if you are a long time viewer of the channel, we have seen these before, not in the box like this, but I found some of these Porter Pro headphones and I sent them into Amazon and these are the headphones that we used when we were in prison yes if you were a so-called high roller those people had these headphones and yeah they thought they were better than you i think i am better than the mollusk so <laughs> but yeah these are the good cost headphones that they're paying like what 80 dollars on the black market for in prison maybe a little bit more higher than that now might be like 200 dollars. then we're gonna have this magnetic stir this is like yeah, exactly what I just said it was, a magnetic stir. So I'll count from like $35 or so. Then this is going to be, this is gonna be a Razer game controller pad. I don't really, to be honest, I don't know the exact name of it. It's like a Game Vice, I guess that's what it is, in partnership with Game Vice. Model number RZ06-0290. Yeah, it's a gaming controller. I think I saw comps for like 35, 40 bucks or so. Boom, LED headlights. Saw this item before in South Carolina, so I went ahead and picked them up because I didn't pick them up when I was in South Carolina and I knew they were worth around 40 bucks or so. Then we're gonna have this mobile radio 
This Colorful Studios Mobile Radio. I think this one was selling for like a hundred and some change. Yeah, confidently like over a hundred dollars. I want to say like one fifty nine seventy eight or something like that. But yeah, so good. Can't beat that. Seven dollars into over a hundred dollars, and it looks good inside of it. Then we found this gaming controller. I think I saw comps for consistently like around 20 something dollars sold consistently. Of course, some people are trying to sell them a little bit higher in the $40 range. Um, who knows, I might keep it or I might put it on the market. Ain't no telling. Then I found this PIC scanner that I just really recently opened and it's a mobile phone scanner. Yeah, so this item selling consistently on eBay for around $20 or so in that range. Yeah, I paid $7 for it, but it's light, first class shipping. So maybe after I have to ship it out, I'll have like $11 and change into it. So I'll probably only make like $10 on that item after I get it shipped out, unless I make the buyer pay shipping, which I probably won't because it's under a pound. And I really charge a lot of free shipping on items that's under a pound, unless it's a video game, then I charge a flat rate of $2.99. But you didn't ask me all that. And then this Gladdy LED floor lamp. It's similar to the one I have right there, uh, but not at the same time. It's just an LED floor lamp. They're going for like around 40 bucks or so. And then this Wulu wireless home intercom system. I think we saw some selling for like around $48 or so in that range, somewhere around there. And then these, we have these binoculars. They just say plain old binoculars on the, <laughs> on the box, professional binoculars, but they are some good ones. They are, cause I kinda got to the label and saw the brand and everything, which I don't wanna really rip too much because I need to see what it is later when I looked it up. But this brand, obviously you'll see it next to me in the comps. I think they, it was pretty good. Maybe it was selling for over $30. That's why I grabbed it, $28. Maybe that's what it was, 28 bucks or so. And then the best find's probably gonna be these Google Home Nests. Yeah, these Google Home Nests, you can't beat that, can you? Found these items, $7 in the bins, and they're selling consistently almost every day, daily, um, for over $50. That's what I'm gonna say on the safe range, over $50. This one looks like it's open boxed, and this one looks like it's used, to be honest. So, I know the open boxed, I can get like 60 plus, maybe close to that $80 range, and then the used one, maybe around the same price, to be honest. It just depends on how I, how I take pictures of it and all that. If I make it look sexy enough for the buyer. So that's the goal. So hopefully we can get these sold on eBay fairly quickly. I'm excited about that, to be honest. And then we're gonna have the Sun Buy. I think that's what it's called. They're like, they're like um, lamps, LED lamps for outside. I think there's like 12 or something in here. They're selling for like $100 plus brand new. Obviously this aren't brand new. How do I know it's not brand new? Brand new because I can see a little bit of dirt on the little peg. So, but I mean, maybe I can get around $50, $60, make the buyer pay shipping. I only have $7 into this item. So maybe I'll put it on an auction. Who knows? There's no, there's no telling. I grabbed it because I think I found enough profit for me to be able to kind of blow $7 if it doesn't turn out exactly how I want it to be. I mean, I'm sure I can get at least $7 for it, at least. And then we have these two Star Wars figures that I kind of really didn't want to get, but I grabbed anyway. They're only selling for like around $20. Five dollars. That's what we're gonna say. Around twenty-five bucks. But I mean, they sell kind of daily, and why not? You know what I mean? Baba, Baba Frank or Baba Frick is it his name? Babu Frick. Star Wars fans, don't kill me. Don't know him like that. Then we're gonna have this automatic blood pressure monitor. Sold this item before on eBay for like around twenty-eight dollars and eighty-eight cents. I believe that was my selling price, and I think I also made the buyer pay six dollars shipping or something like that. So I went ahead and grabbed it because I know the item sold for me before. And I also got this item right here. This is some kind of, I can't even remember now. It's like some kind, of, some kind of computer part and it had a box and everything with it. I had the box, I had the, had the people open the box for me because I wanted to see exactly what it was and see if I wanted to purchase or not. But upon me looking at what it was and everything, they threw the box away, I guess, or just didn't give me the box. So. I don't know, we're gonna see how that's gonna work because yeah, obviously I have footage. I don't know, we'll see. But I think it's selling for like 40 something bucks. Maybe I just won't worry about it, but we'll see. I probably won't worry about it to be honest at the end of the day because I don't know, we'll see how I feel. That's it, is that it? Besides these two paper shredder shredders, one's going for like 78 bucks and I think the other one's going for like 50 maybe. 
So that makes me exciting. This whole lot makes me excited. I spent 260, 200, I keep saying 260 something dollars. Like I'm about to say I spent 260, but I only spent $200 plus 68 cents. So 268 cents. <laughs> Two hundred dollars and sixty-eight cents. Yeah, <laughs> that's how much I spent. But anyways, guys. Yeah, man, I showed y'all I can't add in my head. <laughs> Two hundred sixty-eight dollars. What's wrong with me? But yeah, two hundred dollars and sixty-eight cents. That's what we spent today. Should make definitely that back. Am I gonna leave prices for exactly how much money I'm gonna? profit off of this no because it's all potential profits but you can see exactly the items that I purchased and you can see the sales ranks and see how often they sell to see if I'm gonna make my money back plus a little bit that's the purpose of me really making these videos not to show off my profit margins and all that good stuff but I also want to show you that like there's profits out there I mean I do the what sold video so you can see that these items actually sell as well but anyways that's the purpose of all these videos make sure that you bless somebody today that's another purpose of these videos because I promise you I'm gonna bless somebody tomorrow but at this point in time, your boy got a lot of work to do. Your boy got work to do. So you gotta go. At this point in time, your boy Tay is...